Good morning, folks. The sun picked back up some activity the last 24 hours. Flaring is on the rise. Sunspots are popping up and morphing, and the plasma filaments are beginning to destabilize. The solar flaring has almost broken back up into M-class range here, coming from the large grouping departing just north of the solar equator. We will analyze that one, the new sunspots born overnight behind it, and the big one on the south. The flare maker is gaining some magnetic interaction near the trailing positive umbrus. Eyes open. New group isn't mixed yet, but it's just a baby, and it appears we have spreading in the incoming group and a bit less activity. After some significant swings in the solar wind that included a major negative polarity stream, we're calming considerably now back into normal range, and you can see smoother curves returning to the electron flux, the lower energy in our system, and our magnetic shield is quite calm at the moment. The coronal hole is about to crest over center disk. Luckily, so far that 6.6 .6 in Panama is our only large quake. Still got some rumbling near Antarctica. Folks, as baffling as this may seem, the solar polar flip is still not done yet, at least not as of Stanford's latest update. North went back to negative, and it must remain positive before we can call this reversal complete. You'll remember we shared the first episode of Mars Observers, updating the last week on Mars. Episode 2 has come out, and it's linked for you below the video. Also check out a terrific piece by Anthony Watts. Two separate studies show that Earth was warmer during the medieval period. That's a very good website, by the way. Remember the cold record broken in Phoenix just days ago. They've shifted to a winter heat record within just five days. How about them apples? That's where we are in the Mobile Observatory. Our event is Sunday the 11th here and details are at observatoryproject.com. Also got a preview release of the 2014 temperatures from NOAA. The patterns of extreme heat and frigid cold continued all year. Extreme climate swings. In North America, we see a cold flow around the Great Lakes low that bends south as well on the perimeter. Another low to the south and the convergence bringing heat up the west coast. Atrocious weather continues moving eastward here. We've got snow and freezing rain potential in the south even into Mexico. Pacific Northwest under the gun as well. Low north of Scotland pulling hard on shore which continues eastward around another low after bending north. You can see them here. That moisture flow remains the top watch. I'd love some weather shares from those affected. Down under, you clearly see two lows in Australia and a convergence that aims right at them extending down through the southeast. Tops thunderstorm warnings follow those lows and the convergence. Got the current conditions and shots of our start to close. 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.15 a.m. in Arizona. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.